Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the second swing golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell here, a master club fitter at the Minnetonka location. And today we're gonna to talk about trading in golf clubs. That is one of the services we offer at Second Swing, the ability for you to trade in golf clubs at the highest values in the industry. And then of course you can either get your cash or Second Swing credit or PayPal payment as well for your clubs. And we'll go through that process here. Uh, but we need to mention that you know the, the boom of golf here recently has created uh, a, an extremely high value for golf clubs, higher than ever before. And so now is the time to trade in your clubs, take advantage of these values while they're lasting. So uh, Thomas, I know that's a huge component of when, play, when people, for example, come in and get a fitting. One of the things that you always recommend is trade in your old clubs that you're no longer using. Or for example, if you're a club junkie maybe that just has a bunch of clubs in your garage, trading them in now is the best time. Yeah, you mentioned your garage. Let's face it, if your clubs sit in your garage, they're going to lose value, mm -hmm. just like a car. Anything mm -hmm. that's older and older, it's going to lose value. So if you want to get top dollar for your clubs today, help offset prices on the new equipment you're getting fit into, it's important to bring those trades in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, of course, two ways that golfers can trade in their clubs here at Second Swing. Uh, so if you live near one of our five store locations, and those are in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Minnetonka, Minnesota, uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, Wilmington, Delaware, and Columbia, Maryland. So if you live near any one of those five store locations, you can just simply bring in your clubs and bring them up to the front counter and our team will evaluate them and give you uh, the value for those clubs, whether it be through credit to Second Swing, uh, through a gift card, or uh, whether the cash or PayPal payment um, that you'll receive. Also, you can visit our online website, secondswing.com, and you can click on the trade-in tab from there, you can see the second swing value guide. And in there, you'll be able to see the values of you know, thousands of clubs, uh, you know, all sorts of brands, all sorts of models. From there, you can identify the club models that you have to trade in, and you can identify the values for your clubs, and from there, to go through the easy process of trading in online. Yeah, you may be surprised also when you do this. You, you think old clubs maybe not worth anything? It's gonna help. It's gonna be definitely gonna help to pay for any new mm -hmm. equipment that you have. You don't have to use that credit right away either. It can remain with us as store credit or you can choose the cash option as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's maybe have an example because I'm thinking about trading in my driver. This is a Ping G30 LST. It's been a good for me for about five, six years now, but I think it's probably time for an upgrade. So I want to see what this is worth and trade it in. All right, let's showcase it through secondswing.com and show how to trade those clubs in. Okay, Drew, what driver are you trading in today? Trading in a Ping G30 LST model. Okay, so let's take a look at the secondswing.com website. So first thing we're looking for is the trade-in tab. So let's learn more about trading in your Ping G30 LST. So we can check the values of your driver. First thing you've got to do is you've got to select the brand. So we have Ping first up. Then we need to select the type. So we have the Ping driver. And now we've got to select the model. So you'll notice as we're scrolling down here, there's a lot of different models mm -hmm. here to choose from. If we click on G30 LS Tech, you can see right here, in average condition, your driver's worth $110. If we were gonna look at other different options, if it was in mint condition, mm -hmm. you're gonna see a little bit more. Uh, if it's in below average, so maybe it's got a couple sky marks on it, uh, it's gonna be a little, little bit less. But it retained the value pretty well for mm -hmm. a driver that's a few years old. Yeah. It's actually pretty good there at $110. Right. For a driver I've used for that long, for still be worth over 100 bucks in trade in, that's pretty good. Yeah. So we want to add this to the cart. So if we add this to the cart, we'll just click continue. We'll notice that you can get paid three different ways. Mm -hmm. So you can either select the secondswing.com credit, so you'd have store credit, you can accept a check or PayPal. Now, Second Swing at times we'll run promotions. So we'll notice right now we have a promotion running. Now this is just at this time of this video was created. So if you wanted to add the promo in, we could add that promo code down here. And it looks like right now they've got a bonus 10 for 10% 10 extra with regards to credit there too. Now if you want to accept our shipping label, we do charge $9.99 for per box. Mm -hmm. um, that's a prepaid sh shipping label if you want to use that to ship the clubs in. Or you can definitely use your own option as well. If you wanted to add in a shipping label, you can add in there too. And now you'll notice now we're gonna get about $100 for mm -hmm. your driver. Okay, perfect, yeah. And that would especially be beneficial for someone with a you know large box you know that wants to maybe trade in a bunch of clubs. 
um, where you can get one label there, $9.99, easy, no hassle. Uh, Second Swing does offer that, and then it'll, of course, ship then to our distribution center at Eden Prairie. Yeah, it's just very convenient. You don't have to weigh the, the box yourself and figure out which way is the cheapest. It's yeah. just $9.99 is that standard cost. Mm -hmm. And then once you click continue, you can either create an account as a new customer, or if you're a returning customer, you just submit your email address and your password, and then we can get you your credit. So I mean, to recap, I got a pretty good value for my driver here uh, because I, I've used it, one, for about over well, five to six years, and I'm still going to get over 100 bucks to use toward maybe my upgraded driver, uh, which is something that any golfer can take advantage of now. And so, uh, and Thomas, I did have one question that you know, I'm sure a lot of golfers might be asking when they're doing, going through the online trade process is, you know, what is the stipulation on which condition uh, they should mark for their clubs? Because as you see on the site, there's maybe new average than their below average. So uh, what's the process like there? What can they expect? Yeah, generally a club is, most clubs is going to be in average condition. So average condition is considered like 8.0 mm -hmm. on our, our scale. Generally speaking, general wear, um, mm -hmm. if you play that golf club, you don't have massive sky marks all over it, there's no dents in it. Mm -hmm. um, generally it's going to be average. Now if there are sky marks or if there's some dents or it's have excessive use, maybe those grooves are extremely worn in your wedges, yeah. that's when they'll be considered below average. And then the value would definitely drop there as well. Yeah. Also, at the other end of the spectrum, if you have a club here that maybe you decided, I don't need this golf club anymore, you can definitely get more value for it because clearly it hasn't been hit. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, there are those um, instances where maybe someone has a rare or unique item that um, has exceptional value. That is another scenario where we would also recommend contacting your online fitting and support team, and they'll work with you as well on maybe that exception or, of course, there's also the option of maybe taking a photo of your clubs to see the condition as well. And you can work with that, that same team, our online fitting and support team, to identify what condition your clubs are in. But clearly this, this process is very easy and it's a great way to I mean, offset the price of an upgrade or simply to you know, put some cash in your pocket. Uh, trading in at secondswing.com uh, will take in the clubs and also pass them on to someone else to use. To contact the online fitting and support team, you can call 612 216 4152 or you can email service at secondswing.com and our good team members will take care of you there. Uh, once again, to recap, a great way to take advantage of the highest values that your clubs will probably ever have. Uh, make sure you do it through Second Swing and we'll help you out and get you set up. So Thomas, thanks for joining for this video. Not a problem.